Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Asiab Arena for today's contest between the St. Peter Marion and your Brockton Boxers. At this time, I'd like to have the teams line up at the blue line for the playing of our national anthem. Are looking at the ice rink, AZF ice rink, where today your Brockton Brock, Brock Brockton Boxers hockey team faces off against St. Peter Marion. Should be a good matchup. The action is already underway. Loose puck controlled by Peyton's place. Peyton Sylvia. Brockton off to an 0 2 start. Uh, two competitive games. Bridges shoots it down the other end of the ice. A shot on that and wide. Brockton off to an 0 2 stop in two competitive games. Uh, the first one against Mansfield, which we covered. Another shot on that and a save. Good pressure by Brockton to start this game. Kicks it back up to the point to Peyton's place. Oh, Sylvia shoots it wide. Those that have followed the Brockton High School hockey team in the past know that Peyton Sylvia is quite the defenseman. And he has control of the puck. St. Peter Marion controls it on their own end. St. Peter Marion coming out with some sweet, sweet unis. Those uniforms are tight. Uh, in goal, in purple, excuse me, which is the color of royalty. You can't see, but off camera, postman Mike Simmons is in all purple because he is the king of the delivery. As Brockton gains control of the puck, Ben Martin drops it in. Good body check. He takes the body. Let's see how Brockton takes the body today. Back to the point. And a shot on net. Speaking with both coaches before the game, this should be a competitive uh, tilt. As I was stating, and I interrupted myself several times, uh, the Boxers are 0-2. Their other game to Falmouth, a, a very skilled team, according to Coach Cunningham. Uh, they fell 4-1, to the Boxers did, but again, played well. So good signs playing some competitive teams that may be a little bit better than them. Might bold well today for your boxers against St. Peter Marion, who has control of the puck, and they clear out. Back to Sylvia. Sylvia gains control. 
wheels it. And delayed offside is called. Sylvia with the full head of steam takes it. Up and out. Kate O'Connell has control of it. Krushinik. I'm going to get this name right today. Krush. Krusha Shank. Yeah, we're going to call him Shank. Yeah, St. Peter Marion has control of the puck. And it's out. Oh, Sylvia lost an edge. A two on one score! Peyton Sylvia unfortunately lost an edge. It created a two on one situation. And the goal is by number eight, assistant captain. They gave me an easy name to start with Matt Nizzoli Leo. Matt, forgive me. I am the Johnny Mostafaki. His later years, he couldn't pronounce one European's name right. And you're living it now. So that was a quick goal, just two minutes into the first period. Again, goal by number eight, Matt Nuzolilo. Brockton keeping the pressure on. And around the boards it goes. Nathan El Chami had control of the puck. Lost it. And St. Peter Marion looking to break out. They dump it in. We've had a few people fall on skates today. It could be the holiday break. It could be any number of things, but people have lost edges. A couple of occasions down on the Brockton end. And the puck, Shea Machine clears it. Not out. And the puck stays in. St. Peter Marion. Ooh, there's the goal scorer. Sylvia. And the puck is out, dumped in by Brockton. Ooh, tricky shot. As there is a scrum in the corner for the puck. And St. Peter Marion comes out with it. Right back in by Kate O'Connell. It's wheeled around the boards and out. The line change going on for St. Peter Marion. Nuzulio tries it, tried to sneak it in. Looking for more. He can smell blood in the water. He has the puck again. A slap shot blocked. Nice block by Shea Machine. Laid in body and mind out to stop that puck. Well done. And we have Dante Massaro, brother of Dominic Massaro. Good rush, but tried to do too much with it. St. Peter Marion back on the attack. The puck is tipped by Brockton. It hit the net, but play goes on. And the whistle finally sounds. Second referee picked up on it. He's paying attention. He's making all sorts of hand gestures that I don't know. But we'll have a face off to the right of your goalie, Dominic Massaro. Massaro's a sophomore. Two good games so far this season. 7-1 is not a reflection of how well he played against Mansfield. That was just an onslaught. As Kato Colano comes out with the puck. Keeps it in. And the chase. For the, the, for the puck is controlled by St. Peter Marion. We're behind the net where a lot of nothing has happened, but St. Peter Marion comes out with the puck. A little sluggish to start here. These teams probably getting their legs underneath them. Maybe had a quick practice yesterday, which was the day after Christmas. And we have an icing. So it might be a factor today. Who has the better legs? Who can keep up? Might have to go deeper to their bench. Coaches might today.
We shall see as this game unfolds. Face off won by St. Peter Marin. And controlled by Brockton on a mini breakup. Nothing doing. Yeah, players are falling left and right. Don't want to say it's the ice, but it has been used quite a bit today. Brockton, the AZF rink, does host skating lessons. Wow, I did not know that. As we've seen some action in St. Peter Marion end, uh, particularly the first couple of minutes. Not much doing, but assistant captain, oh. Nizzolio has made a name for himself early on. Number eight, keep an eye on him. He's not the biggest guy on the ice, but let me tell you, this kid's got some skills. Always like the little guys. The little guys going out there, mixing it up, making it happen. And this is not a sport for the faint of heart. Ooh, Brockton, Peter Sylvia. Grinds through it, puts a shot on net wide. Good pressure by Sylvia. As the puck is cleared, icing is waved off. And Jalen Bridges has control of the puck. Um, Bridges, back to Bridges. He's trying to dance through the whole Marion team. Excuse me, the whole St. Peter Marion team. How about we make a deal? By the third period, if I start saying SPM, that stands for St. Peter Marion, and there's a goal by none other than Peyton Sylvia. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with the AZF rink, you should be familiar with Peyton's place. The defenseman with a pretty goal. So we're all nodding at one, just like that. Seven and a half minutes left in the first period. We've got a 1-1 one, one deadlock between your Brockton, Brockton boxes. I'm having a hard time saying Brockton today. Maybe because I love it so much that I, I tear up when every time I say B -b -b Brockton. <laughs> Unassisted goal by Peyton Sylvia as Brockton keeps the pressure on. St. Peter Marion feverishly trying to get it out of, to no avail as Brockton keeps it in and then finally out. Back to Sylvia. The defensive core on the Brockton team logs quite a few minutes. They're out there, of 45 minutes, they're out there for the vast majority of it. St. Peter Marion looking to break. Back here, save Massaro right in the bread basket. Yeah, he's like, come here, puck. Massaro, there were some saves the first game that we did against Mant Mansfield that, honest to goodness, I thought there was a mag. It was magnetized rubber, and Massaro was made a magnet. Let's see if he can pull it off again today. Holding. A strong Falma team to four goals. Now, Falma's no joke, folks. They're one of the best play best teams in the state. So building momentum. We've talked about it. We talked about it the first game. Building momentum for a productive season. As is nice forechecking by St. Peter Marion. Patrick Weiss from St. Peter Marion getting in the mix. And there's a the turnover. Back to Weiss. Shot on net goes wide. And there's Sheehan. They end up clearing it out. And we've got Kyle the Shank. Kyle, good pressure. Where that St. Marion St. Peter Marion team down bode well for the second and third periods. The kept the puck is kept in. And stays in. Good work by Brockton along the boards. Not going to fill up a stat sheet, but let me tell you, coaches appreciate that type of work.
as the assistant captain comes flying down the ice. We're going to call him Nuz today, folks. I've made a decision. It's a New Year's resolution. This game is being recorded before New Year, so I'm going to start now. And everyone has a shortened last name or a nickname. Unless, of course, you're Peyton Sylvia, where you can do whatever you want, clears it up. There you go. All right, Sylvia breaks it up, up the middle. Oh, nifty move! Shoots! Oh, what a save and a score! <laughs> Cleaning up. Who is that on the goal? Peyton Sylvia started it. And Brockton finished it for a two to one lead. Great rush, great move, and an outstanding finish by none other than his brother, Peter Sylvia. It's a Sylvia party today. As Brockton gains control of the puck and dumps it right back in. Also assisting on the goal was Al Birmingham. Birmingham had a, had a big game against Mansfield as Brockton has lost control of the puck. Good hustle, good forward checking by St. Peter Marion, Jonathan Tisdell. Scrum along the boards, and it's not out. Sean Amasaro kicks it away. Tried to glove it, but couldn't, couldn't gain hold of it. As it goes into the corner, Brockton lays the body, the Malachi crunch. And Brockton gains control. Birmingham with the nice tip pass to Sylvia. Tries to get it back to Birmingham to no avail. As there's potential icing, but, and there it is. Icing on the call with four minutes left in the first period. Brockton two, St. Peter Marion one. As you watch this, you might be getting ready for the new year. You might have celebrated the new year. But from all of us at BCA, we wish you and your family a happy new year. Happy new year, Postman. Yes. Delivery. All right, here we go, back to the action. It's kicked in, Ben Martin. Ben Martin's been around the puck a little bit today. And a shot on net. Kicked wide, another shot to go! Brockton on fire! Boxers three, St. Peter Marion one. The goal, Dante Massaro. So it's a family affair today, folks. It is the holiday season. The Massaros and the Sylvias have gotten together and said we are putting on a hockey clinic tonight. So far, so good. And there's Sylvia coming up, dumped in as Massaro takes a fall. The assists are by Ben Martin and Peyton Sylvia. Sylvia looking to do that drag, drag move again. Ooh, centers it out front, but nobody's home. Got to ring the doorbell first. All right, Shane Machine has control of the puck. Oh, it's loose. It almost trickled through Massaro, who was ready for it. And that's bounced up by Kate O'Connell, trying to gain control of the puck. O'Connell gets it out. But St. Peter Marion coming right back at it, looking to tie the score. Oh, shot. Nice save by Mastaro. Little stick work. Heard some padding and stick work. Delayed offside. Line changes by Brockton. The shank on the four check. He's back on side. Oh, but they can't keep it in. And we got a two on two situation here. Brockton turns it right around. Shank clears it up. 
And that puck is controlled by Seamus Sheehan. They, Sheehan and a St. Peter Marion player introduced each other to their gloves. Probably didn't taste very good. Nah, not very good at all. St. Peter Marion back on the attack. The puck is in, ooh, dangerous. Good defense. Good defense by Sheehan again. Playing a nice little game so far. So far, so good. We're approaching a minute and a half left in the period. Brockton up two to one. They have control of the puck. Shot! It's a loose puck! Who's got it? It's still loose. Brockton keeps control. As there's a scrum along the boards, that's where a lot of the actions happen this period. And the puck is out. Offside Brockton. Sheehan just wanted a whistle. I've always thought with hockey, at this rink, they should set something up on the ceiling. So there should be like a play-by-play -play chair that swivels. Kind of like a Booger McFarlane from Monday Night Football. Just go up and down, like have like a uh, have a big line. One minute left in the period. Again, random thoughts. It's that time of year. We think big. Some people want them to lose weight. As the puck is controlled by Brockton, other people want to exercise, get healthier, uh, quit smoking, whatever the case may be. My resolution is to do whatever I can to make sure that there's a Booger McFarlane seat on that ceiling. I'll keep you posted as the puck is kept in by Brockton. Time is winding down. As St. Peter Marion controls the puck and it's out. It is no icing, so they have Precious seconds left. St. Peter Marion cannot keep it in. And that'll do it for the first period. An entertaining first period, no doubt. St. Peter Marion scored first. Brockton came back with three goals. So after the first, Brockton three, St. Peter Marion one. We'll be right back with you for second period action right after this important message. Hi, I'm Hannah Hart, and I'm here to talk if you're willing to listen. So I lived my whole life without knowing that depression was a real thing. I thought depression was like kind of the same thing as being sad or bored or whatever. As I got older and my life got bigger and broader, I still kind of carried what felt like a lead jacket with me wherever I went. Like there was this inherent sense of sadness that no amount of talk therapy was seeming to sort through. Eventually I started going to a different therapist and she was like, well, it just sounds like, you know, you have depression. I was like, oh, so? Now what? I personally did a lot of research, I started reading about it, and I found a lot of like-minded people that were like, oh my god, you experienced the same thing, there's not just something wrong with me? And as I started to realize what was going on with me, I was able to express it better to the people around me. One of the most important things to remember if you're reaching out to someone you love who's keeping something inside is patience. And don't get frustrated. And if the conversation doesn't go well, don't feel like, oh man, I did this. Set your intention before you even pick up the phone. And for me, it's no matter how this goes, it's not about me. I'm trying because I feel compelled to try and I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna listen. A good rule of thumb, listen twice as much as you speak. If somebody wants advice, they're gonna go, I don't know, what do you think I should do? And that's when you tell them. I feel like we have a tendency to wanna fix problems and solve and give people advice. If you just did this, this and this, you'd feel better, okay? Great, thanks, it's resolved, chick, chick. And I do this too. But that's only because we don't want to see the person we love suffering. But unfortunately, sometimes we have to let them suffer in that moment so they can let their suffering out. If somebody's starting to cry and it makes you feel really awkward and really uncomfortable, just sit with it, man, because odds are they need to cry. Your friends want to help you. Your friends want to be there for you. 
They just don't know how. For instance, my partner's like, why can't I make you happy? And I'm like, this is my happy. So it's okay to take some time and research what might be the right thing for you. When I'm really stressed out or I'm really feeling not my best, I just need someone to be like, yeah? And then I could be like, yeah, word vomit, word vomit, word vomit, word vomit, and then I'll feel better. It's not about telling every single person in your life, hey guys, I'm depressed today. It's about finding the support in your life so you know who to tell. That way, they can be there for you, and you're not just alone in the feeling anymore. Welcome back to second period action from AZF Arena where Brockton holds a three to one lead and is on the break. Shoot and score! Just like that, how do you do? Nathan El Kamif, 10 seconds into the second period with the goal, making it Brockton for St. Peter Marion. One. It's a nice run. Run. So St. Peter Marion Guardians are feeling, feeling the Brockton pain today. There's no question about it. One of the fastest goals in, in the last few years for Brockton. 10 seconds into the game. Oh, second period, I should say. And that's how you start a period, no doubt. That's how the coach set it up. Another slip and fall. Pressure on net. Massaro, stone walls. St. Peter Marion. As Brockton comes on the break, intercepted. And retaken by Brockton. Pressure's on to. And a goal! Nathan L. Kami, my goodness. He put the shot on net, had the wherewithal as he was going behind the net to lift the stick up. Stick made contact with the puck into the back of the net. And we have a goal. Brockett pouring it on, only one minute into the second period. It is five to one boxes. El Kami with the goal, assisted by Jalen Bridges and Peter Selvia, who's having a game tonight. The brother Sylvia putting on a clinic, as are the brothers Masara. And the supporting players, nothing to sneeze at. As number eight, Nuz, he is just everywhere today. He's a gamer. Can't control the puck. And St. Peter Mary clears it out. Sylvia, a good four checking by St. Peter Marion. As there comes the Nuz. Oh, shot and a save by Massaro. Got the glove out and the blocker out. I think it hit a little bit of, sounded like it hit both. Oh, a shot just wide. Good pressure by St. Peter Marion. They're in desperation mode, down five to one. No icing, icing has been called off. As the puck is wheeled around. And out. Sylvia gains control. Offside is called. Okay. We move on. Not sure about that call, but we'll move on. As the center, the right dot near the blue line. Best way to explain it. The red dot near the blue line. Look at it. As uh, St. Peter Marion gets control of the puck. And it's out. Nuz on the attack.
As Brockton gains control, racing down the left, the left circle. Oh, what a beautiful setup, but just couldn't connect. It was in a tough spot. It was down around Adam Flynn's head, feet, and it was just in a tough spot to get to, right between the wickets. St. Peter Marion keeping the pressure on. As the activity is slow to a grinding halt. And now it picks up. As Flannery gains control of the puck. Doing some good work on the boards, but it's taken away. And moved up and out by St. Peter Marion. A shot wide. Massaro on top of that one, though. As the puck is in the corner. Fought for. And tapped out. Nice play by Krushek. We're going to call him Shawshank. Again, I said everybody's going to a nickname or half of their last name if I cannot pronounce it. St. Peter Marion working for the puck. We're just seeing bodies fly. And the puck just kind of going bing, bang, boom. And a shot on that wide. So the Guardians keeping the pressure on. Shot blocked out in front, I think. By accident, one of the Brockton defenders had their back turned, went right into the back of their leg. No harm, no foul. Thank you, Pads, for protecting my body. So there'll be a face-off to the right of Massaro as the teams change up lines. And the puck is kept in. Not for long as Brockton clears it out. Some of these sticks are getting a little high. Another offsides call. Again, keep, let's keep an eye on the fatigue factor. It is the holiday break. These high school students are like most of us. During the holiday season, we like to enjoy ourselves with some food and some relaxation. So let's see what kind of toll the holiday break has taken. They are high school players, so their bounce back ability is amazing. So we shall see. Something to keep an eye on as Brockton wheels it around and out. And there's Nuz. He's been their best player by far so, so far and he scored their only goal. Sylvia chases the puck. Gains control of it. Tries to do something with it, but just a swarm of guardians. Shot blocked. And dumped in. There to corral it is Ben Martin. Wheeling around the net, Kate O'Connell. Always trying to make something happen. Sylvia keeps it in. O'Connell's there. Everybody's there. Out comes it. Number 18 for St. Peter Marion coming out of the fray. Michael Klute. I tell you, I, uh, I, I must be honest with you. I was a little frightened reading the roster for St. Peter Marion as Massaro covers up. Listen to this coaching staff. Listen to these great last names. Sean Messenheimer. Dave Anger. Adam Henderson. And then Jason Arakelian. Mercy. That is a foursome I would not want to meet anywhere. Okay. They might be great people, but those names are intimidating. Oh! Banged along the boards, back to the action. We're in the Guardians' end of the end of the ice, and Brockton 
Has control of the puck. Good work by Flannery. The puck is not kept in. St. Peter Marion does a nice job of clearing it out. Sylvia right back at it. And again, they do a great job here at AV Asiac Arena. AZF Arena. And the rink is in pre primo shape. Kids, le uh, the legs must be just gone from some of these kids. The several falls for some of these players today. So, shot Massaro. Nifty little skate save there. Just by the big toe. Well done. And good pressure by the Guardians at the gate. And a score! Looks like he got Massaro to the right side of Massaro. He wasn't, it was just too quick. He wasn't ready, and as a result, it's a goal for the Guardians. Stand by for the goal scorer and the people providing assists as the puck is sent down. Goal by Mick Giannitti, captain of the Guardians, assisted by Jonathan Tisdell and Connor Donahue, another captain. So the two captains get St. Peter Marion's second goal. It is now 5-2 to two with seven minutes left in the second period. Face off to the right of Massaro. As the puck is cleared out, we get a potential break here. Shot on net, save. Solid save by Ben Goolsby. First time I've called his name today. The goaltender for the Guardians. As the puck is won. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Finally, by St. Peter Marion. Sees a break. And here they come. Brockton start on the four check, on the back check. The puck is kept in. And around to Sylvia, who's looking up to try to find a teammate. The Guardians are keeping the heat on. But Brockton comes out with it. Sylvia ahead of steam. And the puck rolls in. Covered up by Goolsby. They get some great names on the St. Peter Marion team, man. So the faceoff will be to the left of Goolsby. And Dante Massaro on the draw, but it's broken up by St. Peter Marion. And no icing. Puck is played by Goolsby. And out. Delayed offside is called. As the Guardians dump it in. There to retrieve the puck. Tisdell, who was in on the scoring earlier on, a second goal which wasn't that early, it was only a few minutes ago. Brockton gets the puck out. A lot of work done between those blue lines today. That's where the heavy hitter work comes in. Who wants it? The puck is there, I want it. And there are many people with the same thought process that go after it. Only one comes out, though. That's St. Peter Marion. A potential breakaway. A shot. Oh, Massaro. You say Massaro. I say Massaro. A nice save on a breakaway. 
He tried to go back in to Massaro's left. And Dominic just wasn't having any of it. Stonewalled him. A little confusion on the Brockton bench on who's in, who's out. We got that corrected. Back to the action. And there's O'Connell trying to get it out. Good pressure by St. Peter Marion. As the puck is trickled in. Dante Massario to retrieve it. And it is out. Ben Martin on the attack. Oh, Martin, nice move, but good defense. Good poke check. By that Guardian defender. defender. As the pace has been steady, it's gone back and forth, and we're approaching four minutes left in the second period with Brockton up 5-2 to two on St. Peter Marion, also known as the Guardians. Which now makes perfect sense with those sweet unis that they have. Hopefully at one point we can get a close-up, but they're always on the move. It's tough. And a beautiful save by Massaro. Oh, hum. Another great save. As Brockton is facing some steady pressure by St. Peter Marion, they just can't get the puck out of the net. They have been out there for a bit. This has been a long shift, a longer, longer than normal. And the legs must be getting heavy. The puck is wheeled around and battled for by Flannery and out. As Adam Flynn went to chase it. Back on the back end, it's the Nuz. Oh, he's using that left side shot to score! An excellent feed and a strong finish. Don't look now, but we got a game. Five to three, Brockton. But St. Peter Marion with two unanswered goals to this point, looking for more, have narrowed the gap to two goals. With 3.18 left in the second period, plenty of time left in this hockey game, in this period alone. St. Peter Marion with a little, a little jump in this step. I think they, they looked desperate and they acted on it and it has turned into some success as Brockton Maybe get, a, maybe get a little complacent, up 5-1. Some quick goals early in the period. Back on the attack. A shot, ooh, a nice save by Goolsby. Shoulder sad, shoulder pad save, well done. That was a tough shot and he made a pretty save on it. The puck is dumped in and chased. El Kami pass, oh, it's passed back, back to the point. Oh, misfire. Sylvia has to retrieve it. Fakes a slap shot. As along the boards, it's battled by Peter Sylvia. And now gain control by Jalen Bridges. On the attack, shoot. Ooh. Use the defenseman as a blocker. And cool heads prevail. As there was a little tap on the goalie glove, and that's not well liked by the opposition or the referee, so we don't plan on seeing that happen again. Face off to the left of Goolsby. Dante Massaro takes it, wins it. It's kept in. Massaro has it. Going to the center of the ice. Back in. Save. Goolsby settled in nicely. And loose puck has come out by Kate O'Connell. Oh, a nifty move! A backhand on net save. Ooh, that almost went south quickly. Couldn't handle the puck. Fortunately, kept it in play. In, in their end, O'Connell has it. And St. Peter Marion can't clear it out. Kept in by Brockton, Massaro. As the, fuck is, uh, the puck, oh my goodness gracious. A little editing might need me be in order for that one. As we, nothing happened here, nothing to see here. All right, very good, very good, there we go. We hit the reset button. <laughs> As we're approaching one minute left. Apologies, oh, another save by Goolsby. Oh, a big hit. A big hit by Ben Martin, but he's hurting. 
He got hit with the puck and it didn't feel too good. You can tell by his reaction. Sylvia with the puck, passes it. Oh, Goolsby, aggressive, aggressive play going out to take the puck away from the Brockton attacker. And we have less than a minute left in the period, 30 seconds. Brockton gains control. Trying to go one-handed, Sylvia looking to do the one-handed bandit. He is just getting tossed around and he looks like it, the end of the second couldn't come soon enough. He's played the entire second period as the puck is iced with 11 seconds left. Face-off will be to Dominic Massaro's left. As there's plenty of time for St. Peter Marion to put a shot on net. And in turn, Brockton, if they can take the puck, they have time to go up ice. But it appears that neither will happen as we wind down and come to the end of the second period. Another entertaining period here at AZF Arena. And after two, Brockton leads St. Marion five to three. We will be right back after this message you certainly don't want to miss. friend wanted to surprise you really quickly. My friend? Yeah. My friend. Okay. Hey Shane, I'm here, it's me. What's up, Pelvis? <laughs> it's me, Sarah Lee. I just wanted to tell you I love you. And you mean the world to me, honestly. I was bullied for four years in middle school. And these girls, <laughs> They would say the meanest things ever. I met you, and when I smiled, you said you had the greatest smile, and it meant so much to me. You know, I was a jerk a lot of times, and I didn't really treat or say things that were, you know, the best. It got to a point with my eating disorder. They were like, you have to make a decision whether to eat or you can't come back to school. You just sat there and you listened and you gave me advice. I've never had someone who um, who wanted to like hear what I've had to say. Because of you, I felt more comfortable and I felt welcome being at school, being the new kid, because no one else came up to me the way you did. I do know what you do for me. Like I do not ignore it. It's it's being recorded in my brain. It's it's in there. Because without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. have the opportunity to tell somebody how much they mean to you, you need to tell them so that they can keep doing it for other people. And we are back at AZF Arena, the rink of all rinks for third period action between the Brockton Boxers and St. Peter Marion Guardians. 
as we enter the third period. It is 5-3 Brockton. It's been an entertaining game. Back and forth action throughout. Goal swings as Brockton has control of the puck in St. Peter Marion end. If you've been watching the whole game, we're going to call it SPM temporarily. Oh, nice tic-tac-toe pass. Bridges get knocked off the puck. And it's down to Massaro, where Sylvia regroups. Long pass. Brockton looking for a line change. This tips it down ice. Line change complete. And the column are offside. So be it. The puck will be outside. St. Peter Marion territory. Won by Brockton. Ooh, nifty move. Nifty move by Birmingham. Puts a shot on net. And it's all, all gobbled up by Goolsby. Who has settled down after a rough start to the second period. The St. Peter Marion goalie has really settled down. Massaro has come up with some big saves. Should be a fun last 14 minutes here. Brockton on the attack. Oh, saved by Goolsby. The Guardians control the puck. And it's out. The netting is such a no-brainer at hockey games and baseball games. Uh, it's amazing that it didn't, hadn't happened before. And unfortunately, as we know, sometimes it takes a, a cataclysmic incident, a major injury or a death of somebody getting hit with a ball or a puck to change the way that people think. Back to the action. The Nuz. Ooh, tricky shot. That handcuffed Masaro. And the puck is out. Brockton with an opportunity here, but chased down by St. Peter Marion. Brockton picks it back up. Massaro in the corner. And the puck hits the netting on the ceiling. I'm not sure what the song is, but I like it. Maybe. We'll think about that one, folks. Back to the action. Sylvia dumps it back in to lay it off sides. Called. That means that Brockton has to clear out before going back in. St. Peter, Peter Marion zone. They control the puck. And it's kicked out. 224 is going tet to tet. Tet to tet. Head to head. Ooh, and a goal! Wow! We're going to call that the Adam Flynn Woolly Derby. He did a pirouette, a 360, fight it on net. Goolsby got a piece of it, but not enough to keep it out of the net. And Brockton with a big goal. First one of the third period. Widens the gap to three. It is now six to three, boxers. That was a big one. Because coming into the third period, the Guardians had all the momentum going. They had two goals and were playing with a little pep in this step. Guardians come out with it. And you get two people on the puck. Taken by Brockton. Bridges clears it, but not out. And it's out. Heck of a job. Bridges everywhere. Talking to Coach Cunningham before the game. Asked him a little bit about Bridges. Heck of a hockey player, high motor, good skills, everything you want in a hockey player and more. And St. Peter Mary on the rush. Transition, Bridges again. Can't get through. Tough to go one on five. Usually you can't win.
as for a good half, a good portion of these minutes have been spent along that corner. Brockton with the puck. Birmingham kicked off it. Sheehan regroups. Out to Massaro. Tough. It's just going on the board. You're asking. You, you know you're getting the body. So you have to be willing to take the body, which Brockton does in spades. Very impressive. Here comes the Nuz. The force of nature. And it's offside. Well offside. That one was a no-doubter. The sky is blue. The postman delivers. And that was an offside. There are certain obvious things in life. As Peyton Sylvia retrieves the puck. A nifty little move. And it's out. As Brockton's on the attack. Shoot. Save. Goolsby. Another one. Goes over the net. Goolsby, not unlike uh, Massaro in the first game that we covered uh, against Mansfield. Uh, playing a really strong game. It's just the opponent's just too much. As Brockton has been so far to this point. To the nose. Ooh, a laser beam. That was a laser beam. Sylvia gets it out of the zone, back in. Oh my goodness, look at the Nuz go. Tries to shovel it to the front of the net, throwing on net. As Brockton comes out, Sylvia leading the rush, broken up. And cleared by the shank. Shaw shank. Offside. <laughs> Still do earlier, it's Crook Shank. So I will try to call him by his last name instead of Shaw Shank. Face off handled by Adam Flynn. One by St. Peter Marion. But it's not over yet. Ooh. Yeah, St. Peter Marion having a hard time finding the puck. Brockton sends it around. Flannery. But the puck is controlled now by St. Peter Marion. No, uh, no offside call. Blocked by Brockton. Shot on net, can't get through. And Sheehan clears it out. Shot, oh, Massaro right off the mask. You can hear that one downtown. Wow. Massaro looks no worse for the wear, that's why they're built that way. Yeah, Sylvia gets the puck out. And it really is amazing watching the telly the other night about the innovation of the hockey mask and how for many, many years, up until the 50s, they did not wear hockey masks. Simply, incroyable. That's French for incredible. Goal. A beautiful goal. I guess they're calling it a goal. We're having a tough time with these referees the first two games. It is no goal. And the penalty is to Peter Sylvia. The referee made a T sign like a technical foul, but that is basketball. 
I am not sure what the T sign is. It could be a delay a game. We might never know. The penalty is, however, on Brockton. This is the first time we'll see the St. Peter Marion power play in action. Keep an eye on the Nuz. He's at the left point. And it's nicely and quickly and efficiently cleared out by Al Birmingham. Well done as the Guardians regroup. Hit ben Martin up there doing a little forechecking, a little nuisance. Make them work to get their puck up the net, up the, up the ice. Ooh, and a dangerous, dangerous flip by Ben Martin. Sailed over the net. Has good sustained pressure on this power play by the Guardians. Back to the point. It's tipped and out. We are halfway through this third period. The score is Brockton six, St. Marion three. We're halfway through again. A shot does not get through. Brockton's doing a heck of a job. Uh, taking, taking some for their, their fellow players, for the team, if you will. Back to the point. Yeah. And a goal! Scored by, I believe, number 15 captain, Mick Giannitti. And... He's added to its point total tonight. The Catholic comes out with a big point, and the score now is six to four boxers with 6.52 remaining. Plenty of time left in this entertaining affair. As Sylvia comes out of the box and over to the bench. Dante Massaro on the faceoff. St. Peter's wins. Massaro gains control of the puck. Again, goal by Mick Giannitti, Jonathan Tisdell. On the assist as well as Connor Donahue, another one of the captains for Team Guardians. As Brockton races the puck up. There goes Sylvia, and 10! Bobby Orlike with the goal! It's that time of year. It's time to settle in. Welcome to Peyton's place. The goal by number 24, Peyton Sylvia. A big one. Every time the Guardians inch closer, Brockton has an answer. And that was a big one, ladies and gentlemen. The score down to a two goal difference. They give the assists to Dante Massaro and Kate O'Connell. Uh, Peter Sylvia took the puck from those two, went end to end, and scored. A fight along the ends, along the boards, and in. St. Peter Marion gets it out. Nice little touch pass. And a routine save by Massaro. Puck remains in. Another block by Brockton. Bridges fighting along the boards, banging bodies. And out by Sheehan. Oh! And there's the clear penalty on Brockton coming up. An interference call. Oh, a shot. He had an open net and he missed the net. Oh, so close. So close. And yet, so far. He lost the stick on that one. Therefore, the puck went wide. But the penalty on the ice for interference into the box.
goes Nathan El Kamee. It was right in the middle of the ice and not near the play, so it was an obvious call. So the Guardians are one for one on the power play. They're down three with five minutes and change left in the third. Face off to left from Masaro. Puck is dropped. The Nuz loses control of it, gains it back. Ooh, sails one over the head of Masaro. Look out. Low-hanging fruit there. Oh, pretty pass. Just couldn't connect. And cleared out by Brockton. Good job by the Brockton penalty kill early to start this power play. As the, oh, good forechecking by Brockton. The Nuz winds it up. Has control of the puck again. Looking for, oh, a nice pass. Good job by Massaro. Being aggressive. Excellent body contact by Birmingham. And the puck is cleared again. A big clear with just over one minute left in the penalty and approaching four minutes left in this game. A race up the ice. They're trying to set something up in the middle, but nobody's there to connect, and it's cleared out again. Well done by the boxers, PK. And a nice forecheck by Peter Sylvia. He's having quite a game today. Oh, beautiful poke check. That was by Birmingham, who's having a heck of a game. He might crack our top three stars of the night, which we, we will be unveiling at the end of the game. The three stars. I'm not sure there are jerseys swapped. There are hockey sticks given out. I'm not sure how it goes, but we'll make it happen. At St. Peter Marion, trying to figure out what's going on. They're trying to figure out what's going on. We are, and Brockton has control. Oh, a good check by number 20, Cameron Arkelion. Son of one of the assistant coaches with that awesome name. Shot on that, tipped wide. Brockton gains control as the penalty is up. A beautiful pass from Birmingham. Oh, what a save by Goolsby. Oh man, not on this net, not at this moment. As the Guardians come back on the rush, trying to go center again, Brockton's having none of it. They've tried that several times. We get a delayed, we have an icing call. An ice. With two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third period, the boxers are holding on to a seven to four lead. It's been an entertaining game. Lots of action up and down the ice. Good defense. And some great skills. Puck controlled. Out in front. Shot on that. Ooh, blocked by Birmingham. A big block. And away O'Connell goes. One on two on two, one on two. It doesn't matter. Brockton's killing some time, some valuable times are clicking off the clock. Valuable seconds. Brockton back on the rush. Shot and a save. And there's Massaro mixing it up and into the net. Off of Massaro. With two minutes left in the third period. Brockton is just looking for no mental errors. And looking for a clean two minutes. Again, the music here is great at AZF. Unfortunately, they do have to stop it when action picks up. So sometimes they stop at the best parts. But that's okay. We get to watch hockey and a save by Goolsby.
as the puck is taken out by Brockton and into the netting. 127 left on the clock. Guardians looking for a line change before the face off to the right of Goolsby. Puck is dropped. Oh, what a nice save by Goolsby. Point blank shot. Heck of an effort by Sylvia, too. Looking to crack that three-star lineup. He may already have. As the puck is cleared out, and we have one minute left. Sylvia in the back of the net. Kicks it out and up. And there's Sylvia again. Nice shot. Another fire on net. This one by El Kami. Oh, and a pretty move. Oh, how did that not go in? It didn't, so the play continues. Brockton takes control of the puck. Sylvia again. 20 seconds left. And good rush, but excellent defense by Birmingham. Oh, they tried to get cute there. You give it to me, I give it to you. It doesn't matter. It's all over. Your Brockton boxers have defeated the St. Peter Marion Guardians, seven to four. So in a nutshell, Brockton looked good today. They played a well-rounded game. They are now in the win column. Their record goes to one and two. They've got a big season to look forward to, and we're excited about it. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. We will not have our three stars of the game. So, for my teammate, the one, the only, postman Mike Simmons on camera, I am Jay Miller, and for, from the both of us, on behalf of Brockton Community Access, to all of you, we wish you a happy new year.